We've all been there. We're making a little espresso and you realize, well goodness, this machine is just kind of plain, just kind of boring. And without spending $5,000 on an espresso machine, you want something just a little bit cooler, just a little bit more unique. So I was taking a look at my machine and it's, it's a pretty cheap machine. So I've got a couple features here, but let's take a look at the steam knob up here on the top. This steam knob here is just a simple black plastic knob. Nothing fancy. Wouldn't it be cool to make my own knob? Because I looked around online, I couldn't find anything really cool um, that wasn't insanely expensive. Now, I know I could go to the store and I could just buy some wood. We could turn it on the lathe and it'd be pretty cool. But I think we want to add one extra step to this project. I'd like to use materials from an existing product and just mash them all together and then turn them into a knob. I think that'd be super cool. I think we need to go to the thrift store and go see what we can find there, what we can buy and tear apart and then turn into a much cooler version for this steam knob. So why don't we go to the thrift store and see what we can find. I need a baseball bat. Oh man. That's some wood. Ooh. Hockey? Street hockey? I kind of like the look of that. Bug zapper? Dude, we definitely gotta use that. That's sweet. The hockey looks pretty cool. That's kinda cool looking. Alright, cool. Alright, kitchen, 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 kitchen. Oh! <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Two bucks. All right, guys. Made up with some awesome stuff. Coffee maker, duh. Bowl. And Okay, so we have a couple elements here. At the bottom, we have the shaft coming out of the machine. Next we have an adapter plate which will attach to the shaft and it also has two magnets built in. And finally at the top there we have the new steam knob which has the mating magnets built on the inside of it so it hides all the attaching features. Okay, my first attempt at making the steam knob was just a disaster. All the little chunks of wood were floating to the top of the resin, didn't mix the resin properly, and it just was terrible. So on attempt number two, I drilled some holes in the pieces of wood, used a brass shaft to hold everything together, weighed out the resin properly, and everything went together a lot better on that second go around. So there you have it.
All right, let's see if we can get this together. Pull off the old guy. Put on the new one. That's it. That's it. All right, let's go make some coffee. Okay, well, we have made it to the finish line. We've made a successful custom steam knob for our machine. We've made some tasty, a tasty latte. Mm. So I wanted to thank you for stopping by and joining me for the project. I'll see you next time.